Have you ever gone shopping for a gift for Jesus and wondered, what do I get for the God who has everything? He, he doesn't need money. He's got the entire universe and everything in it. He doesn't need some fancy time-saving device like a new vacuum or an iWatch because he has, he has eternity. He has literally all the time in the universe. You could do some kind thing to another person or do a good work, and he appreciates that, but that's sort of like when you give your kids money to buy you a Christmas gift because you can't do anything good without his help. So what's the perfect gift? for the God who has everything. Well, there's one thing in the universe that he wants but and longs for but doesn't have, and that's your heart. You have the one thing in all creation, you have the one thing in all eternity that God wants but doesn't have, and that's you. That's why Luke 15.10 says, there's joy in heaven when one sinner repents. He will leave the 99 to go find the one, and then heaven will rejoice because you, your heart is so valuable to him. You have the thing of infinite value, your own heart. So let's ask Jesus about that gift that you gave him when you became his. So the question is, Jesus, on the day I gave my heart to you, how did heaven respond to that gift? Mm -hmm.